Hey guys, it's Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from my art studio. <laughs> and today I want to uh, debunk a, a myth. Uh, I think it's worth, worth, worth noting. It's very... It's one of those nasty myths out there. I think it's one of those nasty ones. <laughs> this, one's, uh, this one's about... Look, I hear this. I hear this often. I did it. I st oh my God. <laughs> If I would tell you the stories. Look, so we create artwork, right? We have these paintings for those of us who are painters. And we tell, we tell ourselves this story right away. Right away we tell ourselves the story. Oh my God, I created the original, right? If I create prints, I'm going to sell them like hotcakes. <laughs> Does it sound familiar? <laughs> And, and uh, see, it, it doesn't work that way. And most of you know, for some of you, it's working. And, and you're trying to figure it out, like how, you know, how, uh, uh, if you sell, what I'm talking about is that if you sell a few of them. For example, I do that and I sell a few of them. But, but no near, not near as much as my original work. Will they sell? Well, duh, right? Yeah. The problem is that we focus on the other one. We try to focus on the prints because we think that an automation, we want to automate it. We're, we're trying to cheat the system, in other words, but we don't, we don't tell ourselves that. We're like, no, well, because the original is so much more and then people could have that print. Yeah, dude, if you're famous, <laughs> that's the problem. That we think that we can do that. Because we, we artists keep comparing ourselves to these big famous artists. To these big names. You know, if, if I know Jasper Johns sells a print of one of his uh, flag paintings. Of course, of course, of course it's going to sell. He's Jasper Johns and he has, uh, you know, connections everywhere and blah, blah. Well, there's, there's also artists that are not that are not famous like Jasper Johns, you're probably thinking, or whoever you can think of, that are selling their prints. I, myself included, sell prints. Yes. Can I live off of my prints alone? No. Is it a, is it a just automate thing? No, it's not. It's not a just push and then just relax and watch the sales. It doesn't happen that way. You still got to push the product. So, uh, into the market. So, uh, um, so what is it, right? If, 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 if famous people do it, but we can't do it, well, we can. It's just that it comes down to an audience, as I said before in many other videos. You have to have an audience. And people that are doing that, if you notice that, that, oh, my God, this person's making a lot. First of all, you don't know if they're making a lot of sales, number one. You don't know that. It may appear that way, but you don't know that. Second thing, uh, some people, some people do make a lot of sales. They make a killing doing that, Right? But if you see their Instagram, they have like, I don't know, like 2 million followers. <laughs> or on YouTube, they have millions of followers or hundreds of thousands. And they have, this, they have this audience, very healthy audience. So so we see those things and we're like, I could do that. No, you can't because it comes down to an audience. You either, you either have to have a vehicle, a vehicle, which means a platform or a sales uh, vehicle that, that, that can create that. Uh, or, or you can't do it. It's very difficult. And I'm not saying like you can't do it. Don't do it. Don't try to do it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is don't focus on it solely. It's a big mistake. Okay. By all means, sell your prints if you can. You know, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say, oh, don't, don't do that. No, I'm saying don't just focus there because it's the go-to. It's the scapegoat that many artists do. We lose focus right away out of the original work and we want to go into the print market and the print market as is stated by other famous artists is for big artists the print market is for big artists or people with big audiences otherwise it becomes very difficult to because most people don't want it. they don't know you you know it's like a mentor says one of my mentors they don't know you they don't flow you they won't flow you <laughs> they won't flow you income <laughs> because they don't know you so why why would i get a print of someone who I have no idea who they are, right? Or a print by, 
uh, I don't know, one of the prominent artists, living artists right now, or one of the deceased ones, even, you know, one of the, a Van Gogh print, to me, is going to be more valuable, right, as a consumer. I'm not saying to me personally, but as a consumer. Uh, something I recognize, Klimt's Kiss, right? It's more valuable than, than I don't know, Joe Schmo from, from the art uh, fair. And he has his prints, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't know who that is. So I, I'm, I'd rather have an original, not that, because at least I get to have an original. You know, that, that is more valuable. And what we do is that we completely lose track. This happens to a lot of artists. I'm not just saying this just to be... Uh, you know, <laughs> fun here, but uh, I have fun though. But uh, it happens to a lot of artists. That's the first. Thing. I mean, I've talked to some great artists, like, and I mean, great as as a, as a, a great painters and and you know, just just good artists. They've been painting their whole life, and and they still come up with this shit to me. You know, they're like, man, you know, I'm doing this paintings, blah blah. blah and I just don't want to sell out because I know that the moment that I do prints, I'm gonna sell them like hotcakes. And, and blah, 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 blah. And like, no, 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 dude, you're lying to yourself. That's not how it works. You're kidding yourself. You, if you can't sell the originals, what makes you think you can sell the prints? It's a question to ponder. It's a question to ponder. I'll leave you with that, guys. Focus, focus, focus on the original work first. Don't put the cart before the horses. Put the horses before. The cart will follow. There will come a time... When the prints, you know, when you will we'll figure out where to place prints if you if you want to go into the print market. But don't start making a few paintings and then try to jump into the print. Most people burnt themselves because it doesn't work that way. It comes down to an audience and it comes down to name recognition. That's where people start buying. I mean, that's the whole point of prints. I can't afford the original because everybody wants it. Not just because there's a steep price point. Because everybody wants it. This is one of the things that most people get wrong. They're like, oh, if you can't afford the print... It's not because you slap ten thousand dollars on the painting that they can't afford it. It's and, and then therefore they want to print. It's because you slap ten thousand dollars on a painting, but still nobody buys it. So whether you slap a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand, and nobody wants it. And I'm not saying because it's bad, because because there hasn't been an effort into the market, into the marketplace. Uh, I'm not saying because the piece is bad. Okay, uh, then what makes you think that they want the print? The print is there because, because the originals are so attainable and not just by price, but on demand. Okay? I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'm awesome. You're awesome. Keep doing your work. Don't put the cart before the horse. Take care. Bye-bye.